everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Subscribe down below. Today I'm going to be talking about finals! Woo! <laughs> there is nothing better than finals, right? I really like final season because it's like really close to like the holidays because as soon as you're done with finals, you head home and you get to do all your holiday traditions, but there's nothing worse than like halfway through Christmas break and then you get like notifications saying your grades are out and it's like, ugh, the worst. But anyways, I'm going to be giving you guys tips on how to survive final season. Not only studying for finals, but studying for finals in style. This video is sponsored by Pink. I'm so excited to be working with them. I'm wearing this fun little pullover from Pink, so I'm really excited. I'm in a really Christmassy mood. Um, I drove to Starbucks today listening to Christmas music, and I got myself a little holiday drink. I'm really happy about it. I've got my little blanket here. I'm just feeling good. So I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to study for finals, some of my favorite music to listen to, environments to be in, just like random little tips that kind of get me through finals. Um, so yeah, final exams are never fun but they're always really exciting because as soon as you're done you get to go home you get to be with all your friends celebrate the holidays so one way I like to kind of get myself excited for the holidays while studying for finals and while still feeling comfortable and studious is I like to wear cute loungewear and kind of surround myself with some holiday stuff that is comfortable and just gets me in the mood. So Pink just came out with a holiday collection. They have a ton of cute pajamas, loungewear, sweatpants, leggings, blankets. I think I saw like a coffee mug on there. They've got so many amazing things that you guys should totally put on your Christmas wish list or whatever you want. But something I like to do is wear all their cute little holiday stuff while I'm studying for finals. Like I'm gonna show you guys the items I have, but example for this, like I'll probably take an exam in this with like some leggings and I'll just feel good and like cozy, like I'll drink my, I'll like walk to my exam drinking my coffee, listening to some good music, I'll take it and then I'll just be in the best mood ever. Like I'm not even kidding, like that kind of stuff like really puts me in a good mood and like gets me excited for the holidays. Before I get into all the tips, I wanna show you guys some of the items from their holiday collection that you guys can check out. I will have all the links down below for you guys to check it so out. Obviously one of the items I have is this fluffy like Sherpa pullover. I love it. It just is pink right here on the zipper, but it's just so cozy and it's like really versatile for a ton of things. I've also got this amazing blanket back here. It's like red, black, white. I guess it's plaid or no, this is gingham, right, Callie? This would be gingham, right? Like big gingham? No, I plaid. Don't know. I've absolutely I don't know, but it's amazing because it instantly transformed my couch from like just like a fun little couch to like holidays so I love it and I definitely am going to study for finals with this wrapped around me and like some tea it's just a great vibe I love the inside of the blanket too because it's like got that like fuzzy like oh it's just so comfortable so I love that I can't stay away from yellow even during the holidays I have this amazing big yellow sweatshirt I got it in a size medium for reference and then the inside of the hood is like this furry thing I think that's what makes it like part of the holiday collection is you know, it makes it a little bit more warm and cozy and I just cannot wait. I'm really into hoodies right now. Like, I walked around the airport the other day with my hood on and I just kind of felt really cool. And then I also got leggings to match it. It's just these black leggings that are yellow down the side and they're just so dope. I think they would also just look really good with that sweatshirt. You know, just like a cool study outfit, you know, like gets you happy and excited for the day. And then I also got myself a pair of holiday pajamas. So then after a long day of studying, I can wind down, put on my Christmas PJs, drink some hot chocolate, watch a Christmas movie. Oh, I'm so excited! And then wake up and take my test. So it'll be great. Um, so these are the bottoms. It's, this is a really soft material. When I got it in the mail, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so soft and stretchy. These are kind of like joggers, so they kind of taper in, which I like. And then this is the top. It's just a long sleeve. It's like a plaid situation. Um, again, really soft. And it's got like the cute little gold pink dog right there. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this PJ set. You gotta have yourself like a holiday PJ set. So yeah, I'll have all those items linked down below if you wanna pop them on your Christmas wish list or get some to study for finals in. Seriously, it's just one of my life hacks to like get yourself in a good mood, wear stuff that you feel good, comfortable in, and just excited and just walking around college campus just feeling like a boss. Tip number one is to have a good study environment. And everyone studies differently and needs a different environment. So I think if you don't know what kind of environment you thrive in studying wise, you just need to test it out. So for me, it depends on what I'm studying and it just depends on a certain few things, kind of just what I'm in the mood for that day. So, you know, if you study better alone, just like lock yourself alone, seriously. Like if I'm studying with friends, like I really don't study, I get distracted or we'll start talking about something else or I'm like comparing myself to them and then I just don't study and then I freak out. So unless it's like math, sometimes I like to study with people because then we can like help each other and like problem solve. But yeah, some nights I just want to lock myself in my office and just study and just have like a really quiet space. But maybe you like being in a coffee shop and you like like a little noise and like some nice jazz music playing. Go to your local Starbucks or a local coffee shop because um, then you get coffee and it's just a like great environment. 
Um, some people like the library. Some of my really good friends from home, they like always send me Snapchats in the library. I can't do the library, it's too sad for me. It's just, it's too quiet, but you know, to each his own. But yeah, and on the sense of like environment, if you do decide to study at home, it's really important to like sit on your desk, sit on your desk, sit at your desk and not like be in bed or whatever because that just kind of just cancels out everything and then you just fall asleep. I sometimes start to find myself falling asleep and I'm like, no, this is not good. So if you are sitting at your desk, kind of clean out your desk, make sure your desk isn't like full of papers and stuff because that gets you like super unmotivated. I'm all for typing my notes. I love using my computer. I just, I hate handwriting, but there's something about writing down my notes that just helps everything kind of ingrain in my head. Is that what you say? Ingrain in your brain? Ingrain? Engrave? Ingrain my brain. Ingrain my brain. I don't know. Maybe that's not a word, but um, I like to type my notes, but there is something about for certain classes. I like to take, I use flare pens. If you guys know what those are, they're like, they're like markers, but they like don't smudge like on your hands, which I love. And they have so many fun different colors. So I'll write like the term and then I'll write the definition in a different color or like for statistics, like I'll write the formula. And then like, I don't know, I'll just like do different colors and it really helps me and it really gets in my brain. Um, so I think handwriting your notes, um, like rewriting your notes is like a really good way to study. My third tip is something that is really helpful and I've been doing a lot more lately, especially for my anthropology class. Number one, get the textbook, just do it. I know sometimes you don't always wanna get the textbook, but if you think you're actually gonna read it and get some good knowledge from it, just get it, rent it, find it from a friend. So for my anthropology test, we have it on like certain chapters in the book. So I'll obviously like study other ways and like use the study guide that they provide, but just like literally reading the chapter and highlighting things really helps me because I'm telling you, there are terms, there, there are things that are not in the study guide that they're gonna ask you questions on that kind of are more like from context and from reading, like maybe like referring to a certain example they give in the textbook that like isn't necessarily gonna be in the study guide. Like there were some times I got a question on my test and I was like, oh, I know that, but only from this, um, the textbook. So it's really helpful. My fourth tip is to find good music to listen to because I mean, I guess some people like to study in silence um, and I sometimes do, but I really do like to have music playing, but I need it to be instrumental. Unless it's math, like it maybe have some words. My favorite playlist I find on Spotify, they have so many amazing pre-made playlists. I really like jazz vibes. I love deep focus and I love chill lofi hip hop. Chill lofi hip hop beats or whatever that one's called is probably my favorite right now. Um, but yeah, it just like depends, but find those playlists. If you go on Spotify, they have like a focus section, I think, and they have so many different playlists. Like if you like instrumentals, they have instrumentals. There's just, love it. I love a pre-made playlist. I just pop it in, put my headphones on, or my earbuds, not my earbuds, my AirPods, my AirPods. My fifth tip is something Callie and I were talking about that's like really important. Don't just study the night before. You shouldn't be learning new terms the night before. And I have done that so many times and it just doesn't work out. So something I've been doing lately is, let's say I have a test on Thursday, it's usually when my tests are, start studying on like Sunday, Monday, and then slowly start doing stuff. You don't have to go crazy, but that way you're not studying for like hours on end. You're just doing a little bit every day. And another thing to do is study in the morning and then take a break like midday, like go work out, go do something with your friends and then get back to it like after dinner and do some more. So you're not like sitting there all night just stressing out because it's the worst feeling ever. You wanna feel leisurely about it. You wanna study in the morning so that at night you sit down and you're like, oh, I remember that. Like it, it really ingrains in the brain. <laughs> My last tip is Quizlet, but not only Quizlet cause I, I debated saying this tip because it's like, we all know what Quizlet is. If you don't know what Quizlet is though, it's like an online flashcard system. It's free, you just make an account and you can make your own flashcards, which is awesome. My favorite feature though on Quizlet is the learn feature where let's say it's best if you have like a test that is like about terms and like memorizing those. So basically you can set it where you have like the term and then you have to literally write out the definition and it gets kind of um, glitchy because if you don't write it exactly how you wrote, it's gonna say it's wrong. But like, if you, it really helps you memorize things. So it'll give you the term and then you have to write out the exact definition and then they'll tell you if you're right or not, which is awesome. And I really like, that's really helpful because it really forces you to memorize things. <laughs> so yeah, those are my tips. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and it was somewhat helpful for you guys. You guys have asked me to make more studying tips videos. Um, so comment down below if you wanna see more videos like this or different video requests. Check out Pink. They have so many amazing things in their new holiday collection right now. I'm feeling super cozy, super good, super holiday spirit. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye-bye.